a second. All right, it says we're live. I'm gonna tilt this down a little bit. I've only been live three times tonight. All right, you ready? If I'm in the shot, great. If I'm out of the shot, even better, right? Oh my gosh, careful. All right. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, the world of Facebook. Tonight, it's late. It is 9, we're going to call it 9.23 p.m. Some of you are going to know that as 21.30 or 21.23. Uh, moon's out. My eyes are getting shut. Roxy's eyes are getting shut. She's got a little bit of cotton candy. You saw her at the Rushville Princess Theater. Uh, the iconic Rushville Theater is... Uh, now open again, didn't it? We went for the first movie tonight. A little soft, uh, soft opening, if you will. If you go there, they have comfy chairs, and everything is free. It's no, free. That it's not. It's not free. It was. It was, Everything is not free. Well, like it was like just free the, tonight. It was yeah. just free tonight. They were just showing yeah. everybody how it was. It's not free. No. So don't think that. Um. But what do you think of the movie? Literally. Don't don't tell anybody how the movie was. We saw Mary Poppins Returns. What do you think? It was great. It was great. What was, your, what was your favorite part of the movie? You're folding the book. Uh, what was your favorite part? It doesn't matter because it was great. Everything. Right. Nailed it. That's exactly. Right. Don't spoil anything. Right there. All right. Let's get into this. Let me see this. Tell them what. Tell them what we're reading. Mistletoe. What night are we at? Nine. What was that? Nine. Nine. Nailed it. Nine of twelve. We're obviously doing the Top Father's Twelve Days of Christmas. <gasps> Daddy. What? That's okay. Here we go. This is going to be Mistletoe. This is by. I, I've read this every year so far. I still don't know how to say this lady's name. Margie Palatini. Illustrated by Henry Cole. Henry, I got it. Nailed it. All right. Here we go. I know all of you have been up waiting for this, so I apologize for keeping you up late. <laughs> right? Oh, you're tired too, aren't you? No, it's my hair. Hey, hey right. Yeah. Twas the season and Moose was merry. He joyfully tickled the ivories with a tuneful of tidings and a flurry of fa-la-las. He was so full of ho-ho-hos, even his moustache had the holiday spirit. His I'm, I'm, I'm working on it. I need to. I need to start flaring these out a little bit more, and it'll be awesome. But Moose was. <coughs> excuse me, choked me up a little yeah. bit. But Moose was more than just a bit bare, a bit merry and bright. He was busy, busy, busy. There was a lot to be done on his list of to-dos. You're not tired, huh? I am. Yeah, I know. I'm so tired. But with orderly organization, a bit of regimentation, lots of imagination, and just plain old moose know-how, getting ready for the big day should have been simple. Easy. Yes, in all probability, just perfectly perfect. Bam. He wasted not one merry minute. Moose got moving and put some hustle in the holiday bustle. He went to work. He wrote cards and letters till his hooves hurt. Check. He shopped until he dropped. Check. This one right here is dropped. It's okay. He hauled home more boxes and bags and presents galore. Moose had gifts for everyone stacked from ceiling to floor. Check, check, check. Then he rapped, yo, yo, yo. And he ribboned, ho, ho, ho. And on each and every package he tied a big, a beautiful, a big, beautiful bow. Check and double check. So far, so simple, so easy, so perfectly perfect. Bam! 
Another look at the list and Moose headed for the kitchen. He pulled out the pots, pans, and bowls, sifted through stacks and racks of cookbooks. He whisked with his left, spooned with his right, and yawned on my left. That was my job. No kidding. Moose baked tons of tins of cookies. Check. Dozens of cakes, breads, and sweets. Check, checkity, check. He made jellies, sticky jams. Moose roasted a goose and some chestnuts. He toasted marshmallows and yams. Check, check, triple check. Yes, yes, so simple, so easy, and but of course, so perfectly perfect. Bam! Last but not least, he hung all the stockings, each and every one, with special care. And just in time, too, soon Santa, that jolly good fellow, he would be there. Check and final check. Yes, sirree. Getting ready for Christmas was an absolute snap. And so simple, so easy. And if he did say so himself, Moose thought... Totally, utterly, completely, perfectly perfect. Oh, you're wrong, Moose. You forgot the Christmas tree. We're not even done yet. Well, that was, well, that's literally, the staples are right there. That's the middle of the book. Jump to conclusions, girl. You just jump, you're just getting crazy. On that night before Christmas, Mother, Little Sissy, Bucky, not the bowls, and Junior looked all through the house. What a job Moose had done. Everything looked bountiful, festive, quite fine indeed. There was just one minor problem, if you will. Oh dear, sighed the missus as the five stared at one empty corner. Oh my my, oh gee, oh me. cried Junior. You forgot the tree! Well, see, you jumped to conclusions. Well, Junior, he knew, I what, told he knew what was going on. Oops! Where would they hang the tinsel? String the popcorn. We put a smack on some popcorn tonight. Roxy had the first major spill of the new princess. <laughs> Half a bag right there on the floor. Mm. I finished my bag. Light the lights. Where would Santa leave his gifts for the kitties on Christmas Eve night? So Moose pulled on his galoshes and put on his hat. He would find a tree somewhere, somehow. And that's all there was really to that. So out went the moose, braving, blustery, blowing winds and the cold, trudging through snowdrifts, courageous and bold. Moose first hoofed it down the corner, not a tree to be had. Then he slid around the block. Uh oh, things were looking bad. He went down every boulevard, street, and little road. He looked down lanes and alleys. Every tree, they'd all been sold. There wasn't a branch, not a twig, not even one lousy bowless bow hanging around. Nope, not a, nothing. Not a tree. To be found. They gone. No tree, sighed the moose. As he came home empty handed that snow eve, the kids tried to make the best of it. They said, Ah, oh, so who needs a tree? But moose could plainly see they were short on the glee. He knew he had to do something, and that's just what he did. In the empty corner he stood, spread his arms out very wide, and then he smiled at his children and winked at his bride. Kids, he declared, fetch your forgetful pop some of that tried and true family glop. Oh, oh, oh. So back came the kids carrying a big pot of glue and without a word to one another, they knew just what to do. They each took a part, grabbing strands, taking hold, then carefully, oh, so carefully they glopped. 
and they plopped, and they pasted, and they pressed. They curled and twirled every which follicle could fathom, every which way a follicle could fathom, until Moose's magnificent moustache was indeed even more a marvel to see. Wow. We're just about that. We're just about that. Just follow it real quick. Here we go. We got kids waiting for bed. We got moms and dads waiting for bed. We have some dads that are waiting for cold bear. Anyways, I'm going to go to sleep since we go home. Moose was just a few needles shy of being an evergreen tree. They strung Moose with lights from his head to his toes and draped him with tinsel, beginning right with the old nose. They hung balls that were shiny and bells that twinkled, candy canes, berries, and plums sugar sprinkled. Then they all stood back. Junior plugged in his pop. Ooh. Ah. Oh. Yes, Moose truly was in one incredible sight. He was glorious and glowing, and boy, oh boy, was he ever bright. Bam! I'm so sorry. Then Junior placed the star on top of Moose's head. He gave him a kiss, a pat, and they all headed off to bed. Except Moose, of course. He stayed in the corner instead. I had an itch on my nose there. Still twinkling and blinking and waiting for Santa. Oh, so it wasn't so simple. And it wasn't so easy. And okay, okay, it wasn't so perfectly perfect. But do you know what? Do you know what? You don't? Well, you about to find out, girl. It was pretty close. <laughs> the end. Wait, 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 wait. We got, we got to end this with a bang. We got to end this with a bang. You ready? I'm just gonna do a mic drop. One, two, three, bang! I feel like we nailed that. Okay, okay. I'm going to bed. We're going to bed. We're not even home. We're at Nana Papples. All right. Hey. Anywho, Princess Theater, Rushville, Indiana. Good luck. Congratulations. Thanks to uh, Wolf Theaters for uh, coming to town. We we'll welcome you. And, uh, <gasps> Daddy, you already have texted. Oh, careful. My, my daughter's crazy. She's crazy. All right. Deuces. See, see? Crazy. Did I hit the finish button? Did I hit the finish button? Missed. Missed again.